say? What will people think of me? How are people thinking? What are people thinking? What? What will people say? What are people saying? What are people thinking? Hmm, my darling, it's high time you put an end to worrying over things that, are, that do not matter. Things I don't have, they can't add any value to your life. Sweetheart, do you really think people care about you that much? If no, if someone cannot add something to your life, someone cannot add money into your bank account, the person cannot pay your bills, the person cannot feed you and things like that, what does that person really have to offer? What that person thinks, does it really have anything to do? Sweetie, listen, let me tell you. In the world where we live today, there is just no way people will not talk. If you get married to Obama, people will talk. Do you know the number of people who talk about Michelle? If you get married to a truck pusher, people will talk. A shoe shiner, people will talk. There's no reason why you should spend time worrying about what people are saying. To hell with them. As long as they don't have any value to add to your life, what they think or what they say does not matter. It's about you, your God, your family, your loved ones, your community. When I talk of your community, I'm not talking about your neighbors and all those people who fake it that they are your friends. I'm talking about those people who matter to you. That's all that matters. That's what is important. Listen, don't kill your dream because you're worried about what people will say, what people will think. It is one step at a time. You can never stand up and walk when you're just born. When you're born, you have to go through stages. You, your neck will be so weak, you cannot, it can't stand on its own. Then suddenly you can, you know, you can crawl, you can creep, you can stand and you can walk. So you being scared of what people will say or what people will think is because you're afraid of failure. Failure is the best thing that can happen to you because the moment you fail, it teaches you it gives you opportunities. It opens your eyes to see other reasons, the reasons or the things that you didn't do right. And you will fix them. Then you will succeed. Then you will make it. Then you will grow. What is that thing you want to do? That you're so scared that people are thinking, people are saying, what will people say? What will, how will people see me and all of that? What is that thing? Stand up right now. Get yourself together. Oh, this person used to know me as this. What would the person think? How would this person see me if I have to do this and I don't succeed? Do it and fail and keep trying. You think the people who are stars today, the people who have made it, the people who are doing so well, you think they just stood up and, you know, they just sprang from nowhere and they made it? No, they took it one step at a time. There are some reasons why you do not want to do what you have in mind. There are some, there are some reasons why you keep thinking and feeling. What will people say? What are people thinking? Let me tell you a few. First, because you're a people pleaser. You're trying to please people. You want to do only the things that will make people happy. You want to do just those things that people will uh, 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 feel like, oh, she's great, she's mighty, she's wonderful and all of that. Oh, come, we love you, we adore you and all that stuff. That is one of the reasons. You're trying to please people. Come to think about it. What if you start by pleasing yourself? What if you sit down and ask yourself, what is that thing I love doing? Do that thing that you will sit back and look you at appreciate it. it. Because it starts from you. If you cannot appreciate the things you do, if you, don't, if you do not like or love what you do, no other person out there will love it or appreciate it. Start by thinking and asking yourself, what is that thing? How can I do it in a way that I will like it, that I will love it, that I can appreciate it? That's the first step. Put an end to trying to please people. You can never please people in this life. Mm -mm. Never. Even the people you low self-esteem. Another reason why you're so worried about what people will say, what people are thinking and all of that. It's low self-esteem. You do not even know your worth. You don't know who you are. You do not know where you're headed to. 
So you're just scared. You're just worried. I, I need these people in my life. I need these people to be there. It's because without them, I cannot succeed. Without them, I cannot make it. I can't do anything without them. Low self-esteem. My love, you have to build your self-esteem to the point where you do not care. You do not care. As long as you're fine, your God is fine, your community is okay. Every other person will fall suit. They'll fall in place. Every other person will fall in place. That's the truth about it. Build your self-esteem. Forget about trying to please people so people can validate you and you feel happy. It doesn't work like that. Because they will validate you today because you're spending money on them, because you're doing things the way they want, you're attending all their parties and doing their stuff for them. The moment you stop, they will stop and you go back to zero so you work on yourself work on you to the point where even if they say everybody says i'm gone you say okay fare you well it's very very important honey and so the moment you stop sponsoring them you become their enemy if you had to do it every month the month you don't do it because you're doing it from your heart it's charity but the moment you stop doing it you become their enemy. So who are you trying to please? Why are you trying to please them? Start by thinking about yourself. What is that thing that I like? What is that thing that I love? That I can do and appreciate? That's where it starts from. Second reason why you, you are so scared. Why you are thinking about what will people say? Blah, 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 blah. Because you love validation. You are struggling to have people validate you. See? If you cannot love and validate yourself, you can never get it from out there. People will tell you what they think you want to hear and behind you they will say otherwise. So it's a matter of validate yourself, my love. Do some things that make you happy. Spend moments by yourself. Enjoy yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and, and appreciate you and tell you how beautiful and wonderfully made you are. You're the only version of yourself in this world. Appreciate you, love you. You're seeking validation. That's why you're scared of what people will say. You're afraid if I don't do it well, they may not want to be with me. So bloody what? There are lots and lots of people out there that look up to you. Like, like it's always said out there. Your present condition is some other person's prayer point. Whether you like it or not, argue with your ancestors. That place you are right now, if some other person were to be in that position, they would so celebrate life. Forget about those people who drop messages, or try to do, uh, send out hidden messages saying, oh, yeah, people that are doing this, people cannot do this, I don't like people who cannot do this, and blah, blah, blah. Let them come and do it. Start first. You're holding someone's dream down. Someone's dream is, lies in you. You carry someone's dream. You have the potential to push someone to go out there and do something. But because you're just laying there, scared of nothing. Scared of nothing. That is one of, the, one of the reasons why you have to jump out. Because someone is looking up to you. Someone's happiness relies on you or depends on you, my love. Jump out of that bed and get busy. Look at the people out there people have talked about. Look at them. People, unless people talk about you, I don't really see what you should be celebrating. If you stay back there and no one says anything about you, it's like you're, you don't exist at all. Would that please you? Would you love that? Would you appreciate that? Because I won't. I like it when people talk. When people talk. And yeah, it's so sweet when people say good things about me. Yes, but guess what? <laughs> when the negative ones come, I take them. Like someone said, she calls me shock absorber because she knows I can so absorb it. My skin has become so thick because I practice not to let anyone get into me or get under me or get under my skin. I have this, I made up my mind, I decided. I too was a people pleaser. I used to think, what would I do? How can I do to make this person happy? How can I do? My darling, at one point I realized there's nothing on this earth you can do to please people. If you please them today, tomorrow you don't please them, you become a bad person. So, why are you stressing out? Why are you even messing your brain up, budging about them? Jump out there, start doing that thing. Start doing that thing as fast as possible because you don't have time on your side. 
you do not have time on your side as any moment passes by your days on earth are limited you may leave this place this earth without fulfilling your purpose purpose is all that we live for purpose is the main reason why we are on this earth so it's behind time you jump out and start doing what you have to do how do you want it done how do you want your hair today do it as long as you admire it you're good to go what do you want to wear put it on as long as you love it you're good to go forget about these people who keep talking 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 and talking like I always say, if you look at the lives of the people who spend time talking about others, they are nothing. They are empty. They are the most blockheaded fellows on Mother Earth. They don't have anything up here. So you not doing stuff because you're scared of what they will say is the worst mistake you've made. Because what's the essence? Reasonable people don't go around people who spend time talking about others. Reasonable people spend time with people who talk about business people who talk about growth entrepreneurship and things like that they don't spend time talking about with people who do not have anything to add to their lives so focus on these reasonable people and let go of these dummies who spend time talking nonsense talking rubbish you have a lot to do you have a lot out there to go and give to the world go give that thing to the world go out there and fulfill purpose and forget about what people will say because no matter what you do people will always talk they're throwing stones at you because you're fruitful they're throwing stones at you because they see what you possess even if today you have not arrived where you're going to get your air alone your the aura around you scares them it scares them so they have to talk to put you down they only shoot stones at trees that have fruits my love if a, a tree is fruitless, I wish I could turn my camera around so you can see how dry this tree in front of me is. How can you see someone throwing stones at that tree? Never. Because that tree is not fruitful. But you, because you are fruitful, people will talk. Please, let people talk now. Voice and mouth is to talk. Why are you trying to disturb them? Stop disturbing people's opportunity to talk. Give them reasons to talk. Some people are so idle, especially women who don't work. Like some most uh, 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 um, house, what they call them, uh, waiting mothers, house mother, or whatever the case may be. But most of these women who do not work, or those who have jobs that are working from home and all of that, all they have to do is go through their social media, scroll through, scroll through, and have and talk and talk. What do you want them to do when they cannot go to work? They can't drive out to work and meet people and talk to them. They have to sit at home and talk. So let them talk. All you need to do is focus on your mission. Stay on your lane. Do what you have to do to be, to be productive, to be fruitful. Your generation is coming up. They need you. They look up to you to grow. When you spend time thinking about what people will say and time passes you by, you, you build a, a fruitless generation. What is the legacy you want to keep for them? Think about it. What is the legacy you want to keep? For this people apart from the fear of failure i don't see any reason why you're scared of doing what you have to do people have talked about people people have so talked about people and the, you know the funny part of it they mostly talk about people go behind and try to learn from those people they talk about people they go behind and they try to buy from those people so at the end of the day, it's a lose-lose for you who doesn't want to go out there and do stuff for yourself. Give them reasons to talk, love. Give them reasons to talk. Let them talk. What would this world be without talking? Without people talking? People will be so sick, so, so, so depressed, so idle, so lonely. Give them something to talk about so they can be busy. So they, they, this loneliness and idleness, and it will go away. Please, I just want to encourage you. Stop keeping your dreams down. Stop killing your dream because you're afraid of what people will talk. They only talk because you're fruitful. The moment you stop producing, the moment you no longer produce fruit, that will be the end of it. So give them a reason to talk now. I love you so much. And I look forward to you jumping out there and doing big for you. Life is too short. Stop wasting time. Have a great day.